Hello, my name's Sally. I'm one of the gardeners at the Pachettos. Um, I'm just going to show you what we do in the garden, um, in the woodland garden this time of the year. Um, it looks all like it's in full flower, but actually this is probably the first time that we can get onto the beds at this time of year because um, a lot of the snowdrops have died down, so we don't have to worry about treading on anything just coming through the soil. Um, and also at this time of year, there's a huge amount of um, what we call in this part of the country sticky willy, but other people might know as cleavers or goose grass. Um, and I mean, there's areas where there's absolute mass of it, so we'll go in and um, try and take it out by the roots because if we just pull it, it often comes back. So we'll, we'll, we'll use a little hand fork and get it out, and there you can see the offending article. It's got quite a lot of root on the end. Um, don't attempt to do this in short sleeves because it can be quite sharp and get the get your arms and you can end up um, it feels like paper cuts so quite nasty um, also at this time of year because you can see a lot more um, we can start thinning out a lot of the biennials or annuals that we don't want um, this is a really lovely plant at the moment this is smyrnium perfoliatum which is related to, Ale people might know Alexander's or horse parsley. Um, it's a biannual, so we can just pull it out when it's finished and we leave a few into seed, but you can see all of these little seedlings, that's all of it here. Um, it's got a really different leaf later on, so that's what it looks like when it's just about to come up as a flower. But before that, it's like a tiny little two-leafed seedling and there are absolute millions here so I'll just go around and uh, take those up. We're really lucky here because um, it's very sandy soil so everything just pops out the ground. It helps by moles I think. We've got some mole tunnels. Uh, obviously little annual grasses along the edges here um, and this. And then the other thing that we have quite a lot of that sometimes we'll leave in, sometimes we'll leave out and um, take out depending on where it is is a little, like a little strawberry light wild uh, plant. Taking that half of the rainy with it. It's not good. Oops, um, This little strawberry leaf flower um, plant. It has a yellow flower um, and it's called Duchesnia indica and it does have little um, strawberry like fruits but they're rock hard and they don't really taste very nice. Um, this can take over quite a lot. Uh, we don't mind a little bit in, in places but we will um, thin that out quite a lot. Um, other things that we might take out at this time of the year are large amounts of this Viola, Viola sorry, Viola Riviana which has a dark purple um, flower. Uh, that can be quite, become quite thuggish as well and take over plants that we want. Um, there are self-seeders like this which we'll leave in but maybe when it's finished flowering we will take out um, other plants that may have reverted. I mean this is really looking lovely at the moment. This is Brunnera macrophylla. Um, it's got, this one has a completely plain green leaf but what was originally planted here is one called Lang Trees, which has um, a little white mark in the leaf. And I mean, while everything's in flower and looking really pretty, we will keep them. But um, before they seed absolutely everywhere, um, we do need to take out the ones that have reverted, otherwise we'll lose the, um, the form that we originally planted. Um, it is a, quite a difficult task in the woodland because it is a very large area and it is very typical of what Beth liked, which is this tapestry of plants and small annuals and biannuals coming through. Um, this is a really lovely plant. This is Lunaria annua, so people might know it as honesty with a little paper type um, seed heads. Um, it looks completely different when it's um, in seed and People will recognise it probably more when it's when it's seeding. Um, this is a lovely white form, and uh, I think a lot of people might think, "Oh, it, it's a weed." But I mean, it looks absolutely beautiful. We don't consider it a weed. That's what best known for um, planting uh, or bringing to the fore plants that are um, 
species plants are what often people keep for wildflowers, but we'll keep them all in. Um, and then allow things to self-seed happily, and then we come along and dig most of them out <laughs> when um, when they just get too many. Um, I think that's it really that we can show you here. Other than the last thing I suppose is the arum, which we find is a massive problem in this um, in this garden. It's arum um, italicum uh, marmoratum. It's got this lovely marking on it. Um, people might know it as lords and ladies. Uh, the native form is plain green with like black dots on it. Um, this is hybridised between the two so we're getting these really thuggish plants but at the moment they look really lovely so and they're not a problem but what we'll do is when the leaves are dying down and the fruits come up we'll take all the fruits away and just pull all the leaves off and um, start again next year. <laughs>